In today's episode of Unasked Questions We Don't Get, it's how do I go faster in a car? Now, for most people, they buy a faster car. We believe that the weakest link is the driver and it is important to master the basics. In today's episode, we're going to teach someone how to drive a manual car. Finding the perfect car for this video was not as easy as we thought it would be. If you've checked out our previous videos, you've seen we've had access to Ferraris, to GTRs, to Porsches. But we wanted something that was truly Malaysian, something everyone could relate to. Before we hop in, here's a quick history lesson about our beloved mouse deer. The humble Prodoa Kanchil. Those of you in your late 20s or early 30s will remember this car. It was Prodoa's first car, manufactured from 1994 all the way to 2009. It came in two variants. There was a 660cc, like this car, and an 850cc. There's a choice of a four or five speed manual box, or you could also opt for a three speed automatic transmission. This 660 had about 30 horsepower, 49 newton meters. Um, the 850 had more, of course. Uh, it was uh, almost 35 horsepower, about 63 newton meters. But this is not bad for a car that weighs under 700 kilos. Now, if you're thinking of uh, a zero to 100 time, I actually tried it today. I never got to 100. The Cancho was one of Perdua's best selling cars. In its time, over 720,000 units were produced, 14,000 of which were exported. It was later replaced by the Viva and the Axia. And if you think this is an affordable value for money car, we think otherwise. The 850cc, 480 ringgit per newton meters. The 660cc like this car is worse, 550 ringgit per newton meter. The GLA 45 in comparison, 600 ringgit per newton meter. Hi guys, I'm Iman. I'm the videographer for Murphy Win, and I'll be learning how to drive this car. Usually I'm behind the camera, but this time around I'm in front of it because I'm the only guy on the whole team who doesn't know how to drive a manual car. The last time I drove a manual car was 12 years ago, so wish me luck. It's not that I don't know how to drive a manual car, it's just that the last time I drove a manual car was when I had to sit for the test to get my license. After that, it was automatic cars all the way, so this is going to be a very interesting experience for me. This brings back memories, man. Learning how to drive. The guy that lent us this car is an avid Volkswagen fan. And I think this car, <laughs> this car is more reliable than his Volkswagen. <laughs> is it okay? Did it, did it, why did it take so long to start? Where's the rev counter? There is no rev counter in this car. Clutch in. Clutch is in. Like goes gear the in. Gear is in. Gear should be in. Yeah. And then, as you release the clutch, you throttle. <laughs> <laughs> and then now you switch gears. Clutch in. Move down the two. Go. Same thing. And that's it folks, he knows how to drive a manual car, and that's it. We need to get you some traffic. This open land is no challenge for you man. You really got to get out there and then you can see what happens to you. And Colin gets what Colin wants. But before we hit the road, there's just something that I got to do to the Kanchil first. Dude, what are you doing man? I am I making sure it. that, so this is regular Kanchil maintenance. This is one of the cheapest cars to own. If anything's wrong, just masking tape. It is the best. I'll be taking this car out to the main road. This is scary as sh. I don't have to press anything to start the engine, right? No. It's gonna start. <laughs> So far, how does it feel? It feels okay. The one thing that I didn't understand when I was learning, right? When when you decelerate, uh, how do you know which gear to go to? Like if you are in fifth, for example, you're going like 80, and then you decelerate until like 40, you go down to 
there. You what? would roll through the gears of fifth. Oh, you have to actually go four, three, two. I mean, you can skip, but it won't be healthy for the gearbox. Oh, for those of you watching, this is what we learned to drive back in what was it nineteen. Oh, I learned to drive in this in 2005. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to the car. Okay. Oh my god, the turning radius on this thing is amazing! <laughs> I can see that it's more fun to drive this car than my Sirocco in a sense. Um, it is more involving, as a lot of people would say, when you drive a manual car. After being on the road for a while and feeling pretty confident, they decided to throw me a challenge. We drove around looking for a hill for me to climb. And we found one. So they were looking for some place to challenge my hill climbing skills in the car. And that hill, I'll show you in a minute, is pretty damn steep. So let me just show you how steep this hill is. Okay, I don't know, it's not conveyed well on video, but that is level, that's the hill. Okay, yeah. so we are attempting the hill. Yeah. Going up the hill for the first time, it wasn't that bad because it was just going straight up. But the second time when they wanted me to go up, stop, and then go up again, that was when I thought I would have the most trouble. How do you stop? Just brake and then I go. Yeah, that. Okay. You need your foot on the brake. Yeah. Press the, the go into gear. Yeah. Okay, then press the button, but don't boom, pull down the handbrake. Okay. Okay, just pull it, pull harder. Without pressing, without letting go of the button. Okay. Can you can you stop the car using this way? No. Cannot. Then this might be a bit more difficult. My problem was the handbrake. I mean, maybe I didn't pull it properly or something, but when we got to the stop on the hill and I pulled it up, I let go of the brakes, the car kept rolling backwards and that really freaked me out. You have to... Now press the button. Yeah. Okay, but hold it up, yes. Okay. Yeah. Just keep holding this way. Now, can you try to do the same uh, clutch spreading thing that you did? I know it's just a hill in a manual car, but still, come on. For a guy who's not driven a manual car in, what, 12 years? This is very different and it's not something that I would like to go through. Okay, not. <laughs> so I failed. I think I burnt the clutch a bit and I coasted down backwards. Now we're going to try and get the swan to do what Iman was not able to do. Go up the slope, stop, then proceed all the way up. Swan did it, obviously, because come on, he's the freaking swan, right? Um, but you know, with all things said and done, this whole day has been a very good experience for me and it's a nice throwback to when I started learning how to drive and I wouldn't mind going on the road again to put in some hours behind the wheel of a manual car. And hopefully one day, maybe in a future episode, you get to see me conquer that hill. So the swan completed his attempt, he's back down, um, and we noticed a bit of smoke coming out. Uh, we checked, Kins, your car is fine. Uh, it'll smell funny for a few days, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. I hope. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you have any comments, let us know down below. Also, don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I still can't drive manual properly. <laughs>